7 Prophecies That Must Be Fulfilled Before Jesus Christ Return Hello, Celestial Beings. Welcome to another episode on Celestial Chronicles. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that has intrigued scholars and believers for centuries, the prophecies that must be fulfilled before Jesus Christ's return. In today's world, where uncertainty looms and geopolitical tensions run high, many turn to ancient texts for guidance and understanding of the future. Among these texts, the Bible stands as a beacon of prophecy, offering insights into what lies ahead. Within its pages are detailed accounts of events that must transpire before the return of Jesus Christ. In this article, we delve into seven prophecies that are believed to be harbingers of his imminent return. If you're fascinated by the mysteries of the universe and the minds that have dared to explore them, then Celestial Chronicles is the place for you. Don't miss out on our cosmic journey, hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest videos. Dive deep into the celestial stories and be part of our community of stargazers and thinkers. Remember, every new discovery starts with a single click. So, subscribe now for more stellar content. Anticipated Second Coming The conviction of the impending second coming of Jesus Christ forms a fundamental pillar of Christian belief, deeply anchored in the scriptures of the Bible. The New Testament is replete with allusions to his anticipated return, echoing the promises of his advent to usher in a transformative epoch of peace and righteousness. This belief is not merely a theological concept but is seen as a tangible event, the signs of which are believed to be manifest in our contemporary world. These signs, as interpreted by many believers, are viewed as the realization of prophecies that were articulated thousands of years ago. The Second Coming of Christ, often referred to as the parousia, is expected to mark the final judgment, where the righteous will be rewarded and the wicked punished. It is also associated with the resurrection of the dead and the establishment of God's kingdom on earth, often referred to as the New Jerusalem or Heaven on Earth. The anticipation of this event inspires hope among believers, encouraging them to lead lives of righteousness, love, and humility, as they await the return of their Savior. This belief also fosters a sense of unity and community among Christians, as they collectively look forward to the fulfillment of this divine promise. Indicators of the Epoch At the heart of the expectation of Christ's second coming are the prophetic signs detailed in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. These indicators, commonly known as the signs of the times, encompass a range of events and phenomena, both natural and societal. These signs include not only wars and the threat of wars but also famines, widespread diseases, and seismic activities, all seen as disruptions in the natural order and stability of society. These events, as distressing as they may be, are viewed not as random occurrences but as fulfillment of biblical prophecies. In addition to these, the signs of the times also include moral and spiritual decay, the spread of false teachings, and the persecution of believers. These signs are believed to reflect the spiritual state of the world, providing a moral and spiritual context to the physical signs. According to interpretations of these biblical texts, an increase in the frequency and intensity of these signs is perceived as a clear signal that the second coming of Jesus Christ is at hand. This belief serves to reinforce the faith of believers, reminding them of the transient nature of earthly life and the eternal promise of the life to come. Peril of Nuclear Catastrophe one of the most alarming prophecies that many believe to be coming to fruition in our era is the looming threat of nuclear obliteration. The development and widespread dissemination of nuclear weapons during the second half of the 20th century have pushed humanity precariously close to the edge of self-inflicted extinction. This potential for large-scale destruction eerily echoes biblical forewarnings of an epoch when humanity would hold in its hands the power to instigate its own downfall. The advent of such destructive technology has been interpreted by some as a fulfillment of these ancient prophecies. The nuclear threat is not just a physical danger but also a moral and spiritual challenge. It underscores the profound responsibility that comes with such immense power and the dire consequences of its misuse. It serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of human life and the urgent need for ethical stewardship of our technological capabilities. Moreover, this precarious situation underscores the necessity for divine intervention, reinforcing the belief in the second coming of Christ as a beacon of hope and salvation in a world teetering on the brink of self-destruction. It serves as a sobering reminder of the transient nature of earthly existence and the eternal promise of a peaceful and righteous kingdom under divine rule. Significance of Jerusalem In the geopolitical landscape, Jerusalem assumes a pivotal role in the prophecies concerning the end times. 
The Bible, in both its Old and New Testaments, consistently portrays Jerusalem as the epicenter of significant events that will precede the second coming of Jesus Christ. Jerusalem, often referred to as the City of David or Zion, is not just a physical location but a symbol of God's promises and his relationship with his people. It is depicted as a city of peace, despite its tumultuous history marked by conflicts and conquests. Prophecies speak of Jerusalem being at the heart of major global conflicts, as well as monumental peace agreements in the end times. These events are believed to be precursors to the return of Christ, marking significant milestones in the divine timeline. Furthermore, Jerusalem is prophesied to play a crucial role in the establishment of God's kingdom on earth. The book of Revelation, for instance, speaks of a new Jerusalem descending from heaven at the end of times, symbolizing the fulfillment of God's promises and the establishment of an eternal kingdom of peace and righteousness. Thus, the role of Jerusalem in end-time events is not merely geopolitical but also spiritual, symbolizing the culmination of God's plan for humanity and the dawn of a new era under divine rule. The Message of Hope In the midst of ominous signs and prophecies of impending calamity, the core message of the Bible continues to be one of hope and salvation. Despite the undeniable fact that our world is confronted with numerous challenges and uncertainties, the predominant theme of the scriptures is one of rejuvenation and rebirth. The Bible, while acknowledging the trials and tribulations of the present age, consistently points towards a future marked by restoration and renewal. It speaks of a time when all creation will be redeemed and restored to its original state of perfection, free from the effects of sin and suffering. Central to this message is the promise of the coming kingdom of God, a time when peace and justice will prevail, and God will reign supreme. This kingdom is not just a place, but a state of existence where love, joy, and peace reign, and where every tear will be wiped away. This promise serves as a beacon of hope for believers, illuminating the path through the tumult of the present age. It encourages them to persevere through trials, secure in the knowledge that their present sufferings are but a prelude to the eternal joy and peace that await them in God's kingdom. Thus, amidst the prophecies of doom and gloom, the Bible offers a message of hope and redemption, a reminder that even in the darkest times, God's love and promise of salvation remain steadfast. Maintaining alertness. As we traverse the intricate labyrinth of the contemporary world, it becomes imperative to stay alert and discerning, keeping an eye on the prophetic signs of the times. The exact moment of Jesus Christ's second coming may remain a divine mystery, yet we are urged to live with a sense of immediacy and readiness. This vigilance is not one of fear, but of hopeful anticipation. It involves staying firmly anchored in faith and internalizing the wisdom imparted by the scriptures. This spiritual grounding enables us to confront the uncertainties of the future with courage and optimism. Living in such a state of preparedness involves not just recognizing the signs, but also aligning our lives with the teachings of Christ. It calls for a commitment to love, justice, and righteousness, reflecting the values of the kingdom we await. Moreover, this vigilance extends to our interactions with the world around us. We are called to be salt and light, positively influencing our surroundings even as we await the fulfillment of God's promises. Thus, as we journey through life, we do so with the assurance that the promises of God are steadfast and reliable. Amidst the flux of worldly events, we hold on to the certainty of divine faithfulness, confident in the knowledge that the ultimate fulfillment of His promises is guaranteed. Final Thoughts to sum up, the conviction in the impending second coming of Jesus Christ forms a crucial pillar of Christian belief. This belief is deeply rooted in biblical prophecies and is further reinforced by the signs of the times that we witness in our world today. From the daunting specter of nuclear catastrophe to the pivotal role of Jerusalem in global geopolitics, it appears that the stage is set for the realization of prophecies penned down thousands of years ago. These signs, as foretold in the scriptures, are believed to be precursors to the monumental event of Christ's return. However, in the face of these daunting signs and the uncertainties they bring, the Bible offers a message of hope and salvation. It assures believers of a future marked by peace and righteousness, a time when God's kingdom will be established on earth. In this context, believers are encouraged to maintain their vigilance and steadfastness in their faith. They are urged to live righteously, reflecting the values of the kingdom they await and to remain hopeful, knowing that the fulfillment of God's promises is assured. Thus, even as we navigate the complexities of our modern world and grapple with the challenges it presents, the central message of the Christian faith remains one of unwavering hope, redemption, and the anticipated return of Jesus Christ.
the article concludes with a call to remain vigilant and hopeful for redemption. As we navigate through these prophecies and signs, let's remember to stay hopeful and look forward to the coming kingdom of God. That's all for today's episode on Celestial Chronicles. Remember, the stars are always watching over us. Until next time, keep looking up.